I want to thank you for addressing our questions at least. Um, and I realize that some of it are, are policy questions outside of your uh, knowledge or control. However, um, we know for a fact that there have been beachings of whales, mainly beaked whales, uh, that appear very much to have been the result of sonar exercises. Not in the Northwest training area, but in other parts of the world. Do you acknowledge that? Yes, I did. It's in okay. the EIS. In the and and um, I also happen to personally know my ex-brother-in-law, who has been studying humpback whales ever since people were studying them pretty much 30, 40 years, learned to recognize them by their tail patterns, etc. And he was in Hawaii, I spoke with him last night, he was in Hawaii during the sonar training exercise on his whale watching boat with a hydrophone in the water, and he's very familiar with the sounds of humpback whales. And he said that in the presence of the active sonar, that it was very clear that there were what he called panic sounds, sounds that you do not hear fr normally from these whales. And he observed that, and he also observed that they were sounding with great speed, fleeing, trying to flee, going down more rapidly than they usually go down, and returning to the surface more rapidly. Now, and yet you have stated that you don't plan to have any deaths of whales as a result of your sonar. So what is the difference between the sonar that he was observing as a trained observer between the beached whales in the uh, Bahamas and around Hawaii that have occurred, what, three, four, ten, ten different times, I think, there have been beachings that probably have to do with the sonar. So my question to you, I guess, is all right, you're denying that you're going to hurt or harm any whales. Supposing you harmed one whale, would you stop doing the sonar? Supposing you knew that you'd killed a whale, would you stop using the sonar? Supposing you had killed ten whales, would you stop using the sonar? Supposing you killed a hundred whales, where is the threshold here? And where does the life of marine mammals and marine life take precedence over this national security? Where does the preservation of life become a part of national security?